Ok, jeg klarer det. Skal du filme en mobil? Ja. Tuller du med meg? Det er ganske bra. Den lille der. Nå skal jeg vise deg. Vent da, hva skal jeg stille? Først zoom inn. Så blir det skarp bakgrunn. Ok, reflektor. Sånn her. Så det er fargekorrigering. Der er det. Og så super wide screen. Sånn. Ok, der er det. Og vær så god. Da skal vi nå. Yeah, so the Nokia Lumetan 1020 is finally been released in Norway. Nokia has, as you may know, focused a lot on making this the best phone camera on the market. It has a call size lens and a 41 megapixel sensor. Nokia has also released a camera grip for the phone, so it's better to take photos with it. It's easy to put it on and it makes it more comfortable to take pictures with the phone. You also get 50% more battery life with this grip, and it even has a screw mount so you can use a tripod. Since I work mainly as a film photographer, I want to test the video quality of the Luma 1020 and compare it to three other cameras. Let's check it out. Now let's also compare the sound quality of the internal microphones. Mm. 
gick inte i kinon för att de byggde om kinon. Så jag måste gå hem igen och så och så började det regna och det hagglade ut och det gjorde väldigt väldigt vont. Jo, uh, ja och så måste de bruka alla pengarna sina på den operationen. Så uh, jag kom jag ut av sjukhus. Här om dagen så gick jag för att se på kino igen för att jag hade fått ett gav kort till bursdagen min. Och så var det en sån konkurrens. Det var en sån lovträckning utanför kinon. With the screw mount, you are able to mount the camera on a tripod or a steadicam or even a Russian arm. If you mount the camera on a tripod and use manual camera settings, you are actually able to take pictures of the stars, as I did to get this picture. If you are more into video, you can easily mount it on a steadicam to make those nice motion shots. With the phone, you get a lot of nice camera apps, like this one. I took a picture of my friends, but some of them weren't too lucky with the shot. But since the Lumia 1020 is very clever and saves some extra photos, you can actually fix this picture easily on the phone. The app also lets you do some other nice effects very easily. The 41 megapixel sensor gives you crystal sharp images. Since the images are so sharp, there are no problems zooming in and reframing the shot after you have taken it. I must admit, I'm really impressed with this phone, and I'm glad Nokia has used a lot of time to focus on the camera. So, I've soon reached 80 videos on YouTube, and I want to thank all of my subscribers. I'll keep making videos as long as you are there. Feel free to watch my other videos I made by pressing the thumbnails. Thanks for watching.